Journey United Methodist Church welcomes you to our Black History Month series of Hidden Figures, African-American Women in Methodism. Today's feature presentation explores the life of Bishop Leotine Tupero Current Kelly. I should point out to you that the information here is just a brief account of the life and service of Bishop Kelly, as there is a wealth of information to be found in the Afri African American experience and the history of the United Methodist Church. Leah Teen T.C. Kelly was born in Washington, D.C. in 1920. She was one of eight children in a family of Methodist ministers and community leaders. Her father was a Methodist pastor and member of the Ohio House of Representatives. Her mother, an advocate for women and people of color and the founder of the Urban League in Cincinnati. Mary McLeod Bethune was known to have visited her family home quite frequently. And Kelly recalls the day Ms. Bethune stepped into their home and said, young lady, what do you plan to be? I didn't answer her. And she said, you must plan to be somebody. And then she said, I'm Dr. Mary McLeod Bethune of Bethune Cookman College. I just knew she was somebody. She became my hero because she was an amazing woman. The words of Dr. Bethune became the lifeline for Bishop Kelly to live by. Bishop Kelly was a graduate of Virginia Union University and went on to complete graduate work attending several universities, including William and Mary. She taught social studies in the public school system in Richmond, Virginia for eight years and was the mother of four children and the wife of a Methodist minister. Kelly was a certified lay speaker when she was first asked to pastor the congregation that her deceased husband had served. Despite being asked, she felt she was not qualified or called to pastoral ministry. When the district superintendent came to her house to relay a message from the church officers that the church would like her to become the pastor, Bishop Kelly responded, well, you and the bishop can appoint, but only God can call me to ministry, and he hasn't called. It would be a short time later that she would complete licensing school and take a course of study at Wesley Theological Seminary. She received her degree in divinity and would later receive her own call to ordain ministry. She pastored two churches and held several important positions in the United Methodist Church, in addition to gaining a reputation as an excellent administrator and preacher. Bishop Kelly was ordained a deacon in 1972 and an elder in the Virginia Conference in 1977. She went on to become the Associate Program Council Director of the Virginia Conference and later head of the Evangelism Division of the United Methodist Board of Discipleship. She was elected Bishop in 1984 while she was a member of the Southeastern Jurisdiction when the Western Jurisdiction elected her as Bishop. The bishop would become the second female bishop in the history of the United Methodist Church and the first African-American female bishop of any major denomination in the world. Her election was revolutionary. However, some were against her appointment. She was charged with heading the denomination's Western jurisdiction, which included California and Nevada. Bishop Kelly served in the San Francisco area from 1984 until her retirement in 1992. Bishop Kelly continued to speak and teach throughout the United States, including playing a significant role in the development of Africa University located in Zimbabwe. The university is a United Methodist related institution of higher education. Bishop Kelly had a reputation for being a spiritual mother to the many clergy women 
and female bishops who she was known to have coached into new lives that gave new leadership to the United Methodist Church. She is also known to have mentored and counseled both men and women all over the world, both young and old in the ministry. Also known as a social activist and advocate for social justice, Bishop Kelly was recognized with numerous honors and awards, including 10 honorary doctorate degrees, the Martin Luther King Jr. drum major for justice, and Green Roots Leadership Awards from the Southern Christian Leadership Conference. Bishop Kelly was a spiritual and moral leader who advanced and caused the justice in the United States as well as throughout the world. Bishop Leotine Tupero Current Kelly died on June 28, 2012 at the age of 92.